Chinese and American researchers for the first time successfully synthesized a semiconductor using graphene, capable of beating even silicon in terms of electronic potential. Graphene is described as a simple material, made up of a single layer of carbon atoms, about one million times thinner than a human hair. Graphene is stronger than almost any other material in nature and beats even silicon when it comes to electronic potential, said a team of Chinese and American scientists, since. Graphene was first discovered in 2004, scientists have been trying to combine graphene with other carbon materials to create a new type of chip that consumes less energy and operates faster than any other chip. Existing semiconductors According to the South China Morning Post, the latest research results on graphene were led by Professor Ma Lei at Tianjin University, China, and Professor Walt Tahir at Georgia Institute of Technology, USA. Both have focused on graphene electronics and other two-dimensional materials, since establishing the Tianjin International Nanoparticle and Nanosystems Center at Tianjin University in 2018, known as the first two-dimensional material stable at room temperature, Graphene special electronic structure gives it a zero gap, meaning there is no energy difference when electrons in the semiconductor conductivity shifts between low and high energy bands. Chinese and American scientists use a new method to help form a special layer on graphene, called epigraphene, to create the necessary space for electrons to move very fast, much faster than silicon and other materials. Similar materials, this layer is important because it creates a necessary electron gap, making graphene suitable for use in electronic devices. It also ensures that graphene is durable and easy to process, offering great commercial prospects, according to research published in the journal Nature by the above group of scientists. To achieve this breakthrough, the team used a method called quasi-equilibrium annealing, which involves carefully heating and cooling the material to change its structure. This step not only opens up new directions for modern electronics, going beyond traditional silicon-based technology, but also adds a new source of energy to the semiconductor industry, reported on the Truong website Tianjin University confirmed. This research not only maintains the outstanding stability of graphene, but also creates new electronic properties, paving the way for the fabrication of chips made of graphene in the future, science and technology-based newspaper in Beijing wrote on January 5. However, Chinese and American scientists at Tianjin University estimate that it may take another 10 to 15 years to bring graphene semiconductors into industrial products and commercialization. Our video ends here, remember to subscribe so we can meet again in the next video, goodbye everyone.